YouTube, what is good? Welcome to another quick tip video. So about a month, a month and a half ago, we had a vlog where I went out to shoot and at the end of the vlog, this incredible sunset came out of nowhere. It was completely unexpected. I pulled off the road and I made this shot right here completely by myself. All I have was myself, my camera and my tripod. So today we're gonna break down how I made that photo. We're gonna try to replicate it. I'm gonna explain some tips on how you can make photos of yourself in similar situations to me where you're all alone. You don't have someone to hit the camera button for you. You don't have someone to focus. I'm gonna help you all out today. And I'm gonna do something a little different in today's video. I'm gonna post the photos to my site, evanramp.com. So if you wanna check out the photos there, zoom in on them, all that good stuff, feel free to do so. Head over to evanramp.com and click on the blog tab. Now, if you happen to look at the website and think, yo, this is nice, I need one of these for myself, you are in luck because the sponsor on today's video is Squarespace. If you wanna build a site for yourself, head over to squarespace.com slash evanramp to start a free trial today and get 10% off your first purchase. So here's what's interesting about that new blog page. I thought it was gonna be a complicated process to make, but it turned out to be the easiest part of my work day. It's so intuitive on these Squarespace templates. I'm telling y'all, it took me like five steps. I think I clicked new page, picked the blog template, then I went to the blog and I added a grid of photos. All I did was drop in the photos, add a title, add some text, and bang, there you go. Now I have a blog page. I've said it before and I'll say it again. One of my favorite things about Squarespace is how easy they make the website process. Whether it's a blog, sharing your photography, or having an online store, Squarespace is a no-brainer. If you wanna build a site, do it today. Squarespace.com slash Evan to start that free trial and get 10% off your first purchase. Now, let's get into this tutorial. Let's get into this quick tip. So I went back to the location where I made the original photo and granted it wasn't the same lighting conditions. We didn't have the same crazy sunset, but I was able to make it work regardless. So step number one is you need a tripod. Do not try to go out and make this photo without one. It's possible, but I don't recommend it. So once you get out to your location, go ahead, set up your tripod, get your camera on there. You got to figure out what settings are going to be best for you, obviously. So make a few test photos, get those settings locked in perfect. For this photo, I knew I needed to expose for the sky as best as I could. So I would be a silhouette, but I also wanted to show a little bit of the car So it took me a minute to get my settings exactly perfect once I had them perfect I focused on the car made sure I was locked in focus and I switched my focus to manual This is very important in this part of the process now that you got your camera in manual mode I want you to go into your menu You probably want to do this before you leave the house So you're familiar with where exactly it is in the menu, but go to interval timer mode now What an interval timer is essentially it's a timer just like you have you know, on your family portrait in 1990 where somebody's running, pressing the camera button and then they run back into the photo. It's that same thing, but it's all automated and you can tell the camera to take a photo every one second, two second, three second, whatever you want to define it as. Now I know what you're thinking, you're like, timers, I have an app on my phone that I can control the shutter, I can see everything, I can do everything from the phone now, what are you talking about? Listen, hear me out, all right? I am not a model, as I'm sure a lot of you are not models either. And when I'm getting a photo made of myself, I'm not trying to model, I'm trying to look candid, look natural. That's the type of photos I like to make. That's what this video is about. And in my opinion, doing the interval timer is the best way to get this candid look. You can move around throughout the photo, you can be loose, you can change your face up, and that shutter just keeps going over and over and you don't have to worry about it. Whereas using your phone to compose the photo and click that shutter, it can make you a a little bit more stiff and less natural. And like I said, we're not models, but if you are confident in your model ability, there's nothing wrong with using the phone. I think it's actually great for more fine art style compositions. And the phone is also great for checking your composition to make sure you got it right and speed up the process. One more thing with our main example, we're pretty far away from the camera and it can get kind of testy with the Wi-Fi range between your phone and the camera. So for me, it's good to know how to do it just in camera, just in case that Wi-Fi has a failure and you still want to get the photo, but just know there's nothing wrong with the app. I just like to do it this way because I think a candid self-portrait is easier when you have that interval timer going and you don't have to keep looking at your phone. So for this photo, I'm gonna set my timer to a photo every two seconds. And I'm gonna go ahead and set my range to one times nine, 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 which basically means we're gonna make a lot of photos. So now that we got that set, everything's good to go. We'll go ahead and get our start option to now and we click start. So now you can literally take as much time as you want to try to get the photo you're going for because you don't have to worry about clicking the shutter over 
and over and running out into your scene. Now, this photo is a good example of a more wide open shot where we can have our aperture set to something like F8. Our depth of field is not shallow at all. But what if you wanna make a portrait of yourself with a little bit of a shallow depth of field, something a little bit more moody? Now, you have the obvious option, all right, which is put the camera back on the tripod. Once again, get your settings set properly to what you think will look good with the photo. And then you're gonna take your camera off manual mode back to autofocus. Now, this works most of the time. Most camera autofocus systems are very reliable now, but it's not always perfect. So here's what I did. Set that interval timer to run the exact same interval once again of every two seconds. Went out in front of my camera, moved back and forth quite a bit, tried a few different poses, paid attention to the light and how it was crossing in and out in front of the camera because I was going for a little bit of a lens flare. And once I felt like I was done, came back to the camera, checked it out, and I got some pretty decent stuff. Now the issue here is the fact that the camera was hunting for focus, especially because we were backlit, we have this sun flare coming into our camera, it can be difficult for the camera to find its focus point. So we had some really cool shots here that didn't turn out, unfortunately. But we also did have some shots that turned out, so the autofocus option did work. Now let's say hypothetically, you get to this location and you have literally three minutes of sunset. You cannot mess this shot up. It's the greatest shot you've ever seen in your life. Here is how you can get it right. You can set your settings the exact same to get a shallow depth of field. Maybe be a little more conservative here. Go on like the 2.8 side, 3.2 side of your aperture just so you have some clearance on your depth of field. Take your camera off off the tripod, okay? Walk out in front of your camera, pick a point on the ground. So find a point that's static. So for this photo, we're gonna pick this line on the ground. This is where you're gonna stand. Take your camera and focus on your tripod, okay? So take the time, focus, get your camera locked in perfectly on your tripod from the exact distance that you'll be standing. That's why it's so important to mark the ground. You need to know where you're gonna go back to. Once you got that focus 100% perfect, switch your camera back into manual focus. Then go back to your tripod, put the camera on, be very careful to not disrupt that focus. You don't wanna mess this up. So essentially what you've done here is you've used the autofocus on your camera to set the focus distance that you need by standing in one spot, focusing on your tripod. Obviously the autofocus is now set to that distance and you're just reversing the circle. So the camera goes back on the tripod, you go back to the spot that you focused from and bang. Every single shot should be in focus unless you get too crazy with your movement. This is not necessarily my favorite method because there are so many variables involved. You could accidentally bump your focus and not notice it. You could take one small step backwards if you're at a low aperture and not realize it and then you're gonna be out of focus and your shot's gonna be ruined. But if you are very technical and you pay attention to all the details, this is one way to get the shot you're going for without having to rely on the autofocus in your camera. That is today's quick tip. That is how I made that photo. That's how make photos of myself. Anytime you see a photo in a vlog where I'm out by myself and you're like, how did that guy get in the photo? That is how I do it. And this is something I wanna do more often. I always find myself saying, you know, I have no photos of myself. And because I like to go shoot by myself and a lot of times on these vlogs, I don't have people come with me, it can become challenging. But this is my favorite way to do it and it's something I'm going to do more, like I said. Hopefully you can do it as well. If you enjoyed today's video, do me a solid, hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button for more. Y'all are the truth and I'll see you. Thank you.